Hello everyone, this is Michael over at Flygrip, and a common question I get is what size Flygrip should I get and how do I install it? Well, I figured I'd make a video to show you guys how that is done. Right here we have the three sizes that we offer, a large, medium, and small. And from this angle, you can see a difference, but the main difference is the height of the top of the fly grip to the bottom of the fly grip. And here's a penny, just to kind of give you some kind of frame of reference. Penny is about halfway of clearance. Medium is about three quarters clearance. And the large is, you could almost fit the, the penny right through the large. It's, it's right about there. And another common item is AA battery. You can see the small can't really get through it. If you do, it's going to teeter the other side. Medium, you got about an eighth inch clearance, and the large, you got about a quarter of an inch clearance. And depending on the size of your finger, you should kind of use that as a frame of reference. And also, if your finger is right at the cusp of the different sizes, we have a chart on the website and you feel that your fingers works exactly for what that chart is it may be a good idea to go with the larger size only because we do provide these little pads the pads go only on the back side of the fly grip on the bottom here and I will show you that later on and that fills up the extra gap to make it a little more comfortable if you choose to so those are the different sizes and I'm going to show you installation right now. These are some popular phones out there. Here is a Droid X2. This is an HTC Thunderbolt and I'm not sure what this one is. Yeah, it's an iPhone. It's an iPhone 4. So what I'm going to do is install a fly grip on, let's pick the iPhone. Now, you can install this directly on the iPhone, or you could install it on a case. And here's a TPU style case. And what I also wanted to tell you guys is some of the TPU style cases have a shiny finish, and the adhesive sometimes doesn't stick that well on it. So what we do is we provide, if you buy the case from us or we provide the case to you, we, we use a special 3M primer, which um, it affects the surface of the, of the case and it makes it so the adhesive sticks better. Uh, it works quite well on a lot of different materials. Um, but any of the hard cases that are a nice flat surface, you're not going to need any kind of primer, but only for the really shiny style cases like this TPU case. But th they do make TPU cases that have like a, um, a matte finish, like this one that we have here. This part is still TPU, but it's a matte finish and it, it gives a little more bite for the adhesive to hit. So it works better that way. But right now I'm just going to show you how you install a fly grip on an iPhone. So it's, it's quite simple. You just, you just peel off the backer. Now technically you spray Windex or something like a cleaner that's a mild cleaner just to get any grease or, or any kind of oils from your fingers off the surface of the phone. And what I do is I place it about a quarter of an inch from the bottom of the phone in the middle and then obviously give it some muscle and, and hold it down for at least 30 seconds. And 3M, the maker of the adhesive, recommends a full 24 hours for curing. Now for demonstration purposes, we can't do that, but for the best bond, you should let it, let it cure for a good 24 hours. But once it's on, as you can see, it fits well even after a few seconds when you when you put it on a surface like this iPhone which is like perfect for this adhesive um, yeah you're not gonna pull this off with any amount of ease you'd really have to uh, tug on it for a while I'll have to do a video with uh, maybe chaining some weights to it to show you how strong it is and if you have a phone like this Motorola, Motorola Droid um, 
this has a rubbery kind of finish. And the adhesive actually does work pretty well with that. Um, but this phone, since the battery door is right here, your fly grip is, um, is technically going to be right in between it. So if you ever need to open up your battery door, not a good idea. So a phone like this, it's best to have a case with it because that way you can access the battery door. Here is a an HDC phone with Microsoft operating system. Um, the battery door is right here. Since this phone is about the same size as an iPhone, you can get away with not putting the fly grip to the very bottom of the phone um, because since the phone is small enough, you can still reach with your finger all around no problem. Usually the bigger phones like this guy over here, this is a Galaxy Note, you know, size comparison, as you can see, a big, big difference. You'd want to put that on the bottom. And in another video I mentioned the, the fact that I put it to the bottom left because I'm a righty. It just allows for me to curl my fingers around. And I wanted to touch upon the the sizing issue again. My hand is not necessarily the largest and as you can see here the the gap is is quite big there but since I'm using a big phone and I need to curl my hand around to use the phone it's not a bad idea to go with the larger size because if you go with the smaller size your fingers are going to be stuck here and it might not work as well. So just keep that in mind when when working with the bigger phones that you might want a little bit extra room. And I also wanted to show you, since I talked about it before, the foam pads. You give different size foam pads. If you feel that you need a little extra snugness, you can just, let me peel this off, off camera. It has an adhesive on it, and where you would put it is right over here, right on the, where the bottom part of the fly grip is. As you can see, it doesn't affect the closing of it, and what it does is it provides you extra extra snugness because now your fingers, uh, it fills up the gap a little bit more, and for some people it works really well, and I do recommend that when you place it on the phone, your fingertip should should end right where the fly grip is. I don't know if you can see here. It should curl around here. That just gives you a, just a better grip. And that's for me. You might decide something different, but that's what seems to work best for me. And um, I think that's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video. And I will answer anything. You can email us at info at flygrip.com or post something on Facebook. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot.